What's up guys, there have been continued rumors surrounding the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 Super GPUs and the latest one from Copit 7 Kimi talks about the possible specifications of the three cards. Once again, these specifications can change and Copit 7 Kimi himself states that the specs are several weeks old. NVIDIA is known to test various configurations before finalizing one. The same is true for the naming scheme and the pricing, which isn't finalized until the very last moment. With that said, let's talk talk about the GPUs. Starting at the top, we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 Super, which is rumored to use the AD103-400 GPU with the full 10240 cores, 320 TMUs, 112 ropes and 64 MB of L2 cache. The chip will use a 256-bit bus interface, which would suggest a 16GB GDDR6X memory, same as the RTX 4080 non-Super. So that suggests that NVIDIA has both both 20 GB AD102 with 320-bit and 16 GB AD103 with 256 bit models, but what makes it to retail remains to be seen. Next up, we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super, which Copit 7 Kimi believes is a really weird naming choice, and to be honest, it kind of is. But as for the specifications, the card is said to feature AD103-275 or AD102-175 GPU models with a same 8448 cores across both variants and 48 megabytes of Alto cache. Lastly, there is the Nvidia GeForce RTX 4070 Super, which is set to come in AD104-350 or AD103-175 SQ configurations with the same 7168 cores across both variants. The GPU is expected to get 48 megabytes of Alto cache. It looks like this card will stick with the 12 gigabytes GDDR6X memory though we can expect NVIDIA to push their memory speeds up using better Micron DRAM which can reduce the stress on the lower 192-bit bus interface. So to sum things up, the following is the core count bump as suggested by the rumor. RTX 4080 Super plus 5% versus RTX 4080. RTX 4070 Ti Super plus 10% versus RTX 4070 Ti. RTX 4070 Super plus 22% versus RTX 4070. Based on these, it looks like the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Super would be the biggest upgrade, and that might be due to the fact that the green team might be considering the AMD RX 7800 XT as true competition in this segment. The 4070T Super is suggested to get a 10% increase in cores, and the RTX 4080 Super might be the smallest upgrade with a 5% core count bump. This means that an RTX 4080 Ti can still be added to the lineup. Once again, Copit 7 Kimi is isn't displaying a lot of confidence in these specifications, and since we are still a good few months away from a possible launch in 2024, a lot can change, so it's wise to take all of these with a grain of salt. Anyway guys, we will keep you updated, so subscribe to the channel, thanks for watching, peace out!